bougie it is down here. It's been a it's been a minute. It's been a hot minute. Also, I kind of find it quite entertaining how everyone's just stopping to take a picture outside the Trump building as if it's like some kind of tourist attraction. Starting your morning off pretty fancy. My first meeting of the day. I know YouTubers and meetings, but this is a fun one. I'm heading to Bergdorf Goodman's. Anyone that's watched Gossip Girl will know of that store, but um, it's it's pretty fancy. I'm dressed <laughs> relatively casual as usual. I'm kind of digging these tones together though. What do you guys think? I'm meeting with a really cool uh, earring company who does sort of evening wear style statement earrings. Yeah, I'll be trying a few on so that's why my ears are feeling a bit naked today. I feel like I'm so used to a, a good like statement hoop. And then after that I'm heading downtown to a big Space and K event. I think it happens about twice a year where they basically get all of their luxury beauty brands like Hourglass and um, Kevin O'Quan and Diptyque. It's one I look forward to because sometimes the brand owners are actually there as well and it's nice to kind of hear how passionate they are about their products and I'm um, learning about like what's new and what's coming out. I'm not gonna lie, we get a really nice goodie bag. So uh, cue the montage so I don't have to awkwardly talk to people while vlogging. vlogging down here it's so quiet god bless the west village i'm so hot and flustered i feel like i'm starting to look like a crazy person okay i think i could take my name tag off now way too ambitious with this uh, knitted jumper and i am sweating oh my god the event was so so nice i feel like their venue that they had last year was a bit nicer a bit more like air like light filled i'll show you guys um some of the products that i'm excited about when i get home i've been loving spending more time down here it's just like such a nice area it's pretty much if you don't know west villages like where all the celebs live and like if you have lots of money um you live here because it's kind of like a i don't know it's a bit more of a philadelphia vibe it's very chill and everything seems to feel like it's running at a slower pace as you can see very neighborhoodly it's it's really nice lovely restaurants beautiful streets beautiful brownstones it's like um very sex in the city west village astor place washington square park like pretty much everywhere the L train sort of cuts through are the neighborhoods that I've been hanging out at so much which I'm really really happy about because it feels like a different side to New York that I'm seeing oh how pretty is that but anyway um I feel like where you hang out the most is dictated pretty much by your train line like realistically like for example when I was in the Upper East Side I would generally stick to areas that I could easily get to from the six or the four and five train but mainly the six or the q train because those were the local trains to me and, and now that i'm on the l train which cuts across manhattan instead of going up and down it uh, i've just been hanging around these areas more it's, it's really weird but i like it okay, okay one more west village thing well i think this still is considered west village but right behind me here is um a salt and battery which is a nice play on words but it's basically a fish and chip shop and they've got like a um, English cab and everything parked across the street so cultured I know is actually my favorite food no not nothing spicy nothing Asian freaking fish and chips is like my absolute favorite food in the whole wide world and yeah I saw and battery is pretty much the only um, fish and chip place where you can get it like the way it is at home like out of like paper and like really basic packaging and not like all fancy on a plate and listen to me because if anyone needs a business this idea for New York open more traditional English and Irish style fish and chip shops all about the fries in New York and not the proper chunky chips cooked in that specific type of oil that makes them taste amazing to top off my lovely day in West Village I bumped into a subscriber she was so lovely I specifically remember her having amazing fries but anyway I'm going home now here's the subway so I'm back god why can't I just have like chic 
fluffy hair instead of like all of these like crazy parts. But anyway, um, I stopped in Trader Joe's on the way back. You guys would be so proud of me. I put all of the products. I didn't take the tote bag that Space and K were offering. I just took my own from Club Monaco. I just really like tote bags. I feel like they're such a city staple and they always look chic. And I like this one. This one has like nice long straps so you can kind of walk along like this and keep it on your shoulder. And um, I'm trying to be good and use reusable bags as much as I can I'm just I'm very very slow to form habits like I just don't find it easy um to change my ways it's like really really difficult I literally need to write it down and actually thinking about that maybe I should like stick something on my fridge with some like lifestyle changes I want to make so that I can constantly remind myself let's do that let's let's do that yeah I stopped in Trader Joe's last minute like I said I really didn't intend on going but I realized we kind of had nothing for the dinner, so I just wanted to run in and pick up some tofu. Um, it'll probably just be kind of like a baked or fried tofu and like one dollar ramen type of night. There's nothing in the fridge, <laughs> but it felt so pointless. I feel like I queued around the block inside the store just to get that, um, but to make it more worth my while, I picked up this while I was there. I haven't seen it before, but it's almond cashew beverage, non-dairy, obviously. I absolutely love um, almond cashew milk. Like this is the one I usually have or maybe i usually get the unsweetened i don't know but this one from almond breeze is really really good anyway i thought i'd um show you guys what i got at the space and k event who knows we might even do a cheeky little giveaway our glass mineral veil primer which i've heard a lot about I'm obsessed with that almost like black currenty color i don't have any blush like that so really like how that looks on me i had bronzer on already but she just put it a little bit over top and the by terry uv base this is one i'm excited for because it's a spf 50 but it's like a primer as well so it like mattifies the skin and it's like anti-pollutant like so gorge and it really feels like a lazy girl brand that's like right up my street and it's the votary super seed facial oil but i think i might go back and check out their cleansing oil because she really really sold me on that a lot of the cleansing oils i've tried just sting my eyes because there's like there's pretty much soap in almost all of them and this is an all natural brand that apparently won't sting my eyes and then lastly i picked up this at the diptyque stand oh my god this like orangey based situation is so nice this is the hair and body wash yes only me and special people will be using this one in the shower like oh it's gonna look so good i wouldn't get to try all of these goodies without you guys so i always try and bring you guys in on the phone when i can anytime i get like a bulk of products like this so why not do a little bit of a giveaway i picked one hair product one makeup product which is the veil primer which will probably suit everyone and one skincare product from tata harper so let's do three winners shall we yeah three prizes so in the comments below just comment which one that you would like and i don't know what you liked about this video the most and i'll pick a winner before the next vlog comes out and now i have to clean all of this up <laughs> actually still a bit weird being in the apartment during the day by myself um kahal has he's almost like a week deep into his new job and he is loving it i'm so so happy for him that um he's found a place that he really really likes to work because i think that enjoying where you are is such an integral part of like this new york experience and um he got way luckier than me in like my first um job basically i haven't actually vlogged that much because i've been trying to dedicate as much of this week to designing my merch. I still hate calling it merch. Is there any word better than merch products? Like, I guess designs, I don't know. But um, yeah, I finally got over my irrational fear of it. I, I can't tell you how much I procrastinated it and how much I walked around the house and walked around and avoided my laptop. But anyone that stepped out of an industry for a little bit, it is so, so hard to get back into it. Like you just doubt everything. You don't want people to judge it. You don't want it to do bad. Badly. And it's crazy because in art school every day of university you're getting critiques So I don't know why taking a step back Changes that and like changes so much and makes you so anxious about starting up again and feeling like you're not good at it anymore But I need to smack myself out of it I've been designing clothes since I was 10 and I'm well able stuff is coming really soon I promise sometimes in like real life and stuff. I do get asked, you know, why did you step away from design? Why are you not designing? That's what you studied. Like, why are you just like vlogging and doing this stuff? And honestly, it's just because like everyone needs a break and it is a blessing and a curse that I knew what I wanted to do from a very young age. Like I said, I've been designing stuff 
literally in a copy book since I was 10 years of age, like making costumes for my dog and all of that stuff. And like, I knew how to use a sewing machine by the time I was like 10 and a half. And doing this stuff online just means that I get to do what I love, which is share my life and talk to you guys and try and impart some of the lessons that I've learned throughout my life. And you know, still be creative in a sense and still be able to make money. And if anyone is thinking of trying something new or doing something new that is away from your career path, look at it this way, okay? You have a really long life. And this is the way I see like my potential career in the design field. I have my whole life to do that. That's what I studied. I've been doing it so long. I have a long life, hopefully ahead of me, of potentially doing that. If I wanna take one year, two years, five years out of my whole life, to do something different, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The anxiety I've built up about it in like one or two years, like imagine what I'd be like in five years, I'd probably never go back to fashion or design again. But this is just a way for me to keep my foot in it, um, but still pursue other things and have different experiences because the fashion world ain't glam. And luckily the way I'm doing it now, there's no financial cost to me up front, which is really, really great because it means I'll get to do what I love and not worry about overheads or anything like that. Because if I was to start a brand, you guys, I mean, minimum I would need would be anywhere from 20K to like 50K just to get one sample in New York, like one pattern for like a top and one toile, which is a mock-up of the top sewn up. You're looking at like a grand and a half, you guys, just for that alone with no alterations, no changes made. And um, working for a lot of different brands over the last, I don't know, eight years, I kind of, I know what it takes to start a brand and I'm just, I'm not in a position to do that. Who knows, I might reinvest the money from this project into continuing to bring out more stuff and building a brand, hopefully. And that's kind of just like my plan for now. I'm just gonna see where it goes, see if you guys like it, test the market. And if there's a demand, of course, I will keep on designing. Cool, I am chatty today. Who needs a tripod when you got toothpaste? Okay, oh god, <laughs> toilet roll. Glambish, glambish, telling ya. Anyway, um, I take my makeup off and I'm popping some of the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Serum, which I've been going on and on and on about. But honestly, it's just one of those products that I've been putting on every day and I shouldn't even be putting it on right now because I'm going down to the gym. I've no makeup on now and I just feel like it makes me look kind of alive. Like I feel like the glow covers up the fact that I'm not wearing any makeup. Sad that I nearly didn't recommend that because I was like afraid that because I'm like one of their ambassadors, you wouldn't believe that I liked it, but I put it on twice a day. I really like that product. So yes, yeah, so the workout situation is happening. I'm riding the wave, you guys. I feel like we've had a productive day. It's still kind of relatively early in the day. Taken a month off working out and to be honest, I miss it. I never thought I'd say that. I am never ever gonna be the person that admits that they love to work out. It's just not me. But I can honestly say that my life is better when I work out. And I've been feeling very sluggish and just not my best self since I, I stopped. And like the holiday period needs to like, it needs to go. I am all for a bit of rest and relaxation and taking time out for yourself and not being you know too stringent with workouts and worrying about that stuff. But there's also the type of self-care that requires you to get up off your ass and take care of yourself and eat well and um, you know do things that make your week and your life more productive and exercise is just one of those things, isn't it? So yeah, I've got my little outfit on. Puma outfit as normal. I've just got their like black and white leggings with the Puma on the side. My Puma, oh, are these Amuse Echoes? I think they are. Um, and then this, which I've never worn before. Absolutely love it. It's so comfy. You can see it's sort of like thin and light. I thought that this would be like a perfect sort of coverall that I can work out in and feel comfortable in if people, if there's like, I don't know if there's like strangers around. But no, I think it's just like a really good workout piece, especially if you're like me and you're getting back into the routine and you don't feel like that confident yet. This is perfect. So on the topic of Puma, they sent me this the other day, the nicest gift ever. It was just gonna be like a pure drop of some kind, but it was actually a little housewarming gift. And uh, you guys know, I love a good candle. Diptyque, like many, is one of my favorite bougie perfumeries. And look at this, I've never seen this packaging. Bays, I think this is called Bays. Do you want a bay? 
or not and the roses scent which i've never ever tried before and i love how these burn i love how the packaging looks and everything and they're just like a classic candle i love puma so much as a company they've inspired me so much to work out with all of the lovely bits that they send me i don't know they just really go out of their way to maintain a relationship with me and it's so lovely like for example the press package that i got with all of this stuff in it it wasn't like a package that just goes out to everyone it was actually stuff that they picked out from the site specifically for me and sent me like mostly monochrome and black and white bits because she knows i'm not like crazy into color and it's just little things like that you know that are like super nice okay. quick little i guess marinade for while i'm at the gym i'm gonna pop the tofu inside it and it's just agave sweetener and less sodium soy sauce mixed together and um, it probably won't do much for flavor but it'll give it a bit of color and like some crispiness like the sugar will probably crisp up on the outside water gym mat we're ready to go no idea how i'm going to film this but we'll try and get jiggy with the camera footage working out a little while ago I felt great after it I still do and I wasn't quite hungry right away so I sat down and I did a bit of work kind of finalizing one last design that I want to send off over the weekend yeah showered and feeling clean and just made some food you guys know I'm like the overlord of tofu at this point it's like no cholesterol no fat really really good for you so yeah I've got that and then when it was finished I popped on a little bit of this ponzu sauce it's like a soy based citrusy dressing on top to kind of soak into the broth and the tofu I also got my chocolate almond cashew milk from Trader Joe's that I picked up earlier it is actually so so nice way nicer than um, chocolate soy milk but I just want to let you guys know sometimes when you do see Mimba cups they're cups that I've saved from times I've bought coffees I'm not proud of this but me and Kaha do reuse these all the time also I feel sorry for you guys who don't have Trader Joe's firm or extra firm tofu because I hear you guys a lot of you guys tell me that you know um your tofu is kind of hard to manage and i like crumbles and it's very soft and um i have to agree a lot of the extra firm tofu that i've tried from like the local stores and like even whole foods is not good compared to this one well chuffed with everything i ended up doing today but i mean i don't want to kind of give you an unrealistic expectation on my days i have days like this where i'm really pumped and i get a lot done and it's a nice long day but then the following day i could completely veg out and be burnt out and do nothing so I'm still working on like finding the balance. I made the executive's decision to actually turn this into a daily vlog just because I was feeling really chatty today. I talked to you guys a lot and a lot of this stuff usually gets cut out of the vlog and Instagram stories, which is where I update you guys a lot. So if you don't follow me there, right here it costs nothing and you know you want to and i let you guys know on there that i was feeling a bit burnt out after the last upload because it does take quite a lot out of me to film and edit those weekly vlogs like i put my heart and soul into them plus the additional upload that i usually get every week done Initially, it's so fun for me but with everything else that i'm trying to bring out for you guys i just needed like a week to catch up on my emails and all of my side projects and side hustle and just dedicate some time to them but i figured that we did so much today why not just put up a daily new york city vlog instead of a weekly one so i hope you don't mind and i hope you enjoyed it anyway i guess it's nice to put these up every now and again to kind of see a bit more in depth of my day and catch up with you guys yeah thanks for watching guys till the next one uh, i guess i'll be seeing you and chatting in the comments below